Hello and welcome to Core Finance Company Interviews. I am Bonnie Hughes. Today we are speaking with Amex Exploration. They have made a high grade gold discovery on their Peron project in Quebec. They are currently conducting one of the largest exploration programs in Canada with 10 drills working to drill 300,000 meters. Amex was also recently named to 2021 OTC QX best 50 top performing companies. Their share price before the discovery in Q4 of 2018 was six cents. The stock is currently trading around 295, down from a high of $4.19. Here to talk about recent developments of the company is Kelly Malcolm, VP of Exploration. Hello, Kelly, and thank you for joining us. Thanks a lot, Bonnie. Good to be chatting again. Excellent. Well, Amex has discovered three gold zones, which includes a high grade component. But recently you discovered a new high grade gold structure on the Normatel fault. Your chairman, Jacques Trottier, said this is a game changer for the project. Can you elaborate? Absolutely. So we announced uh, today on February 17th, the um, what we call the 210 gold zone. Um, this is one of two high grade hits that we put out outside of our typical four uh, zones that we work on, which is the, the Eastern Gold Zone, uh, Gratien, Grey Cat, and Central Polymetallic Zone. So these two announcements, uh, one of which was about two weeks ago, uh, PEX 21041, and today's PE 2210 are much further north than is the norm for uh, Amex. So, We've been talking about doing a significant regional exploration program for um, quite some time now, but we get very distracted by the, um, by the high grade gold that we're hitting in the high grade zone in particular. Uh, but we finally started doing some real exploration uh, at towards the end of 2020, and clearly it is yielding some excellent results. And the, the result from today in particular is exciting because it opens up what we call the Normatal Fault. So we have the Peron Fault to the south, where most of our discoveries are focused on. This opens up a humongous kilometric thrust fault to the north, and that's why Jacques called it the game changer. That's excellent, but you also put out some results from the very exciting high-grade gold zone. Can you tell us about the significance of this zone and an overview of the results? Totally, so the high-grade zone, um, really is the discovery that has brought Amex its significant increase in, in both valuation uh, and share price over the past few years. We've, we've been hitting very consistent, very high grade gold over nice widths. And the really great thing about the high grade zone is uh, obviously the high grade gold mineralization, but the, I guess the less exciting thing than the high grade gold, but probably the more important thing for future mining is the continuity of this gold system. So when you take a look at some of our images, you see that it's consistently distributed gold mineralization across the entire vertical extent from surface down to what we announced today, up to 1,250 meters vertically, which is for reference like three CN towers deep. Um, it's, it's very, very deep mineralization. Starting from surface, uh, we put out up to 32.99 grams over four and a half meters today. It's, um, it's the gift that keeps on giving as we continue to continue to explore it. Um, the deep extension, this is very typical of producing mines uh, around the area. Is that correct? Yeah, the, like, I'm, a, I'm a gold investor as well as, as obviously being um, involved in working in the space. And I often hear um, our grade's gonna get better and the wits are gonna get better as we get deeper. And, and usually that comes with an eye roll from the audience when you hear that story. But what is exciting about the high grade zone is it's coming to fruition. So what we're seeing um, as we drill deeper, and if you again, take a look at our uh, long section from our press releases, the Bonanza core of mineralization near surface is about 150 meters vertically. On the depth extension, so far, it's about five or 600 meters of vertical extent of better than 100 metal factor gold. So the grade genuinely is getting um, higher and more consistent at depth, which is something that I'm very excited about and was very happy to see um, come to life because we've always been 
been thinking that and, and hopeful of it, but I think we've proven now that that's the case. Um, another thing that we've proven with our deep drilling is that this is an extensive and continuous system that we expect will continue um, to much greater depths than we've currently drilled. Well, high grade and bigger widths at depth is really good for economically for a mine. So can you give us an overview of Amex's extensive exploration program? Sure, we have, I've been trying to find anything bigger. I think we have one of Canada's biggest gold programs. I think Osisco has has a bigger one, obviously, with they've got about 30 drills, but we've got 10 drills operating on the project. We're in the middle of a 300,000 meter program. We've got about 125,000 meters to drill throughout the balance of 2020, sorry, 2021, oh my gosh, uh, <laughs> throughout the balance of 2021. And we are uh, very excited about continuing to define and expand upon the zones that we already know. In addition to that program, which will eventually lead to a maiden resource, we plan to continue doing exploration as we've, we've noted in the past few press, press releases that it's yielding very high grade gold in new areas and um, we think it adds significant value to the project. And so what Amex achieved a lot in 2020. So what are you hoping to achieve this year in 2021? A whole lot of drilling. We hope to be able to um, generate a maiden resource at the beginning of 2022. Our target is Q1 of next year. Uh, and that will incorporate a number of different things, namely the high grade zone, the near surface portion of the Denise zone, the near surface portion of the Grey Cat zone, and the near surface portion of some of the Gratien Gold zone. If we are able to, um, which we're quite hopeful that we'll, we'll be able to do, um, identify what we think can be economically viable um, additional zones elsewhere, we will work to aggressively define those to be able to incorporate them into our resource as well. So long story short, we've got a lot of drilling to do. Um, we're very well financed in order to complete that program with the final objective of, of launching a maiden resource towards the end of this year. Very well financed as in $32 million in the bank. We've got lots of capital, yes. And I also read in your news release today that you have 13,000 assays pending from 2020. That should make a, for a lot of news flow over the coming months. Uh, it certainly will. It's been, um, it's been a little bit frustrating, but it's an industry-wide um, industry delay that unfortunately was compounded by, by both COVID and by the fact that the, the overall metals industry has heated up and there's a lot more companies actively working at the moment. Um, we will have a lot of news flow to come over the next um, weeks and months, uh, and we hope to be able to catch up with, with our backlog in the assay lab um, over the next few months as well. Well, you have a sign up on your website for news releases, so I suggest everyone sign up to get those assay results that will be coming out over the next few months. And Kelly, thank you very much for joining us, and we look forward to having you back and hearing some more news about the exciting Peron project. Thanks so much, Barney. Always a pleasure, and let's do it again soon. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on Core Finance Company Interviews.